So congrats, Josette. You're still the champ. You defended your titles. How do you feel right now? I feel blessed. I feel like a true champion. I don't believe a champion is a champion just winning a belt one time. When you defend this, that's when you solidify being the champion. So you had her down several times in the fight. She kept getting back up. Did you expect her to make it the distance? Yeah, I did. I think she's a warrior, you know. I expect her to be in there. You know, I always expect to go seven rounds. You know, you get lucky if, you know, you put somebody here down or you get a KO. But I believe that you prepare for the for the long haul, the marathon, baby. So how did you prepare for that fight specifically? You knew what kind of style she was going to bring. What was the game plan? Uh, the game plan is to do uh, what I do. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, I got good footwork, I got good head movement, and I'm skilled unlike what everybody thinks that they're, you know, they're going in there with, you know. I think that people look at videos of me and they anticipate whatever they believe in their mind to be, and then when they get in there, they, they, they don't understand that, you know, some things you watch on video is not what you get in real life, and, you know, tonight I had to show her whatever she thought she was looking at wasn't what she was looking at. What do you love about the sport about bare knuckle fighting? I just love just the con contact. I, I love being able to feel what somebody's trying to put onto me and show them that what they have is nothing compared to what I'm going to put on them. What makes you the fighter that you are? What's your biggest strength in there? I just think that my faith in God, you know, just knowing that I'm not going to quit and nothing, nothing can physically hurt me because my soul is something that can't be touched because just, he already got it. So I'm a winner inside and outside the octagon no matter what. How can you move so well in this type of real estate in there? What's the secret? I don't think it's any secret. I think, you know, when you're in the gym and, and boxing or anything, your coaches tell you, you know, small movement, small small angles and, and all that. And this this trigon just makes it easier to perfect the things that, you know, you might not got so well that your coaches aim at you because I do MMA, so my steps are a little bit bigger and, you know, a little wider because, you know, takedowns and stuff like that. So I'm polishing it up for actual sport of boxing and, and, and the trigon itself to make little baby steps to just get out there and, and, and push the pace all, all the while making good angles and making clean shots you know so now you're the pinnacle of the sport you want to call out anybody what's next for you um, you know anybody can get it uh, I'm not worried about anybody I'm the champion so whoever wants some they know where I'm at any family sponsors you want to thank I want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ who's always sponsoring me I want to thank Kagan Water. I want to thank It's Not a Game Apparel. I want to thank Foreign Apparel. I want to thank Kagan Water. I want to thank 95.7 The Boss. I want to thank The Biz. I want to thank Pure Heart Soaps. I want to thank Jake Kirsch Painting, Coniglia Painting. I want to thank Studio 65. I want to thank Fan Troy. I want to thank all my sponsors, all my teammates, my coaches from all gyms. And I want to thank all everybody that supported me, all my fans, and everybody in the future that I gain. I thank everybody. You can be whatever you want to be and don't let nobody deter you for your dreams. And you can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens you. I'm Jose Cotton with Bare Knuckle News and nobody beats us to the punch.